uh, growing up here has been, I would say, almost an honor to be able to be here. Uh, people often know their ancestral background, so people will say, yes, I'm French, I'm German, or here's, you know, who I am. But as a Cherokee living in our ancestral homeland, um, it's just really an honor to be able to be in this place. Folks here are very much connected to our land, but our land is also part of our spiritual well-being and say we need to take care of our water, our mountains, our resources. When looking at um, uh, the electric school bus opportunity, that was a no-brainer. Uh, with it, uh, looking to replace you know, uh, diesel power school buses, we're really looking at curbing our emissions and the environment so that when our students are being picked up by our tribal school bus uh, services, you know, they're not in, going to be impacted. One of the things that we've always been taught in growing up in this community and has been pushed down from our leaders, from our parents, from elders, um, is just when we do things, not looking at the right now and how that will affect us in this present moment, but how we can have an impact and how we will have an impact on future generations. As we introduce new things into our culture, we're also you know, working on trying to uphold historical values as we see them, uh, but also making sure that we're able to move in the world of today, that we have all the necessary resources to be successful as Indigenous people in the 21st century. So when you look at the national average for the youth asthma rate, we are about 40% higher here on the fall of the boundary. And this is something that we are looking into. My son is asthmatic. And so thinking about the air quality um, that will surround him when he's on the bus or just around the bus is something uh, that we think would be greatly beneficial. So one way we are trying to improve respiratory health here on the Fall of Boundary is trying to electrify our school bus fleet. And with this first electric school bus, this is the first step but we have plans. We're going to get five more electric school buses this year, and we have plans to electrify our whole fleet of 20 buses. The importance of why we've chosen to be environmentally conscious by choosing to go an electric school bus route, and there will be many other environmental preservation projects that I, I believe will come in the future. Um, but they all lead to one thing, and that's protecting this place. And I think that's what's important. 